Good afternoon. Welcome to Brazos Fiberworks episode eight. It is the last day of November. I am your host, Jennifer, and I'm the owner and dyer behind BrazosFiberworks.com. And thank you so much for coming along with me today. If you are new, thank you for clicking on that button and coming to hang out with me today. I hope you do enjoy it. If you do enjoy it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Tomorrow starts Vlogmas. And so we will have 31 days. Well, we'll have 25 days of videos every day for you. And I would love it if you would come along and watch those. So just go ahead and hit that subscribe and notification bell so you can be notified every day when I upload. Um, I am going to record, um, so like tomorrow I will record day one, open up all the advents and goodies, and then I will load that on there so you will see it on December 2nd. I'm gonna stick with the days, that way I'm living in that day one, day two, like everybody else. It's just the video will go up the next day. So today is the last day of November, and I can't believe December is already here at Vlogmas. So yeah, I'm super excited. Um, if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back and hanging out with me. On this channel, we do talk about knitting, crocheting, spinning. Maybe we'll get into some sewing and weaving. Um, but yeah, so if that sounds great to you, we'll come along today and we will talk about it. I don't have a whole lot of projects to talk about. It's been only a week and I've been just trying to get things here and there done, trying to get some dyeing done and all that good stuff. Yes. So, um, but to grab yourself a cup of coffee or tea or whatever you would like to drink, I have got my coffee. I got this cute Harry Potter Christmas mug. I love it. So yeah, I got some coffee with some gingerbread oat milk in it. Um, it smells so good and it tastes so good. I love the season. So yeah, um, but I guess let's get right into talking about finished objects. So I have all my stuff right here. So if you see me kind of dip out and back in, it's only because I have it right here. I'm trying to record in a different spot today. Um, I, we've got the tree up. We went and picked out our Christmas tree. We got, uh, we get a live one every year. So the day after Thanksgiving, we go and go get one. And then usually we'll try to decorate it the next day. Um, I had to work all weekend. I fortunately had the day after Thanksgiving off. And so we went and got the tree. Um, my husband put it up the next day while I was at work. My daughter put the lights on it, got some ornaments on it. So it's kind of halfway decorated, but you'll see that more in Vlogmas. So I still have the rest of the house to decorate. So I do have the next few days off of work. And so with starting off Vlogmas and recording and getting decorating going, you will see a little bit of that. But uh, yeah, so... Let me get with the finished object. So one of them I don't have with me. Um, it is one I did start before. I'll go ahead and put a picture of it. It is dyed on my fingering base. It is the pumpkin spice colorway. And I did the vanilla sock set by K of the Crazy Sock Lady. Whenever I talk about vanilla socks, it is going to be using K's pattern. And I will put the link below. But I did a 15, or a 64 stitch cast on with a 15 two by two rib on the top, 60 rows in the leg. And then the foot, I do wear a seven and a half to eight. So typically I do do them in that size. Um, but I had somebody reach out to me and want to get a couple socks for her daughter for Christmas. So that was one of them that I had knit up one sock, but I needed to finish the second one. So I went ahead and did that and got that 
finished that, got out to the mail, so I didn't even get a picture of the two together, but I will show you the first one. So that is that. And then the second finished object is my sock set from Polka Dot Creek that came with, gosh, I don't remember what the colorway was. I will put it, I will put it here on the screen, but it came with my Christmas vacation bag. I don't have it sitting with me, but I did show it on my last video. If I have a picture of it, I will insert it. So let me go ahead and put this on a sock blank. And I will show you. I'll just put one of them on there. I had to have both of them done. But this is the self-striping yarn that I got from Polka Dot Creek. I love it. Absolutely love it. Here is the second one. So this one, I did the vanilla case, uh, vanilla sock pattern. But usually I only do 20 rows on the cup. This one I did, or did I say 20? I meant I don't remember what I said, but I usually do 15 rows on the cuff. This one, I did 20 rows with a two by two rib. And then I did 60 rows on the leg and then my normal size that fits me. Um, it was a 64 stitch cast on. So I thought those came out so cute. I can't wait to wear them. I knit them for myself and then like I always start thinking of people I could give them to but I, I think I'm actually going to keep this pair. So those are my two only finished objects. Um, I'm happy though to get those off. I don't currently, well I take that back. I do have a couple socks on my needles but I haven't worked on them in a while so yeah. But I have all the things that I wanted to get done by now with socks at least done. Um, I know I wanted, I really wanted to get my sweater, uh, my adventure sweater by Tristan Molina that I used all of her advent colors from last year. I know I talked about taking out the ribbing on the bottom of that sweater and fixing, adding to that and putting a different ribbing back in. Um, and I really wanted to get that done before the new advent started this year, but realistically, I just didn't, I didn't have the time to get it done and it's fine. It's okay. I have plenty of time to do it. That way I'm not rushed. I'm taking my time. So after I get done with all of this year's advent knitting, I will go back and do that one. Um, I might even find some colors left over from these advents that I would like to add into that. So yeah, so that one did not get done, but I'm totally fine with that. Um, but works in progress that I have worked on since last week's video. The only other thing besides my finished objects that I have is my, did I grab the papers? I think I left them over there. Okay. I gotta go grab some papers. All right. So the work in progress that I'm working on right now is the stocking that I talked about last week um, that I wanted to make, or maybe it was the week before, that I wanted to make for my daughter. So this is the pattern. It's called Top Down Christmas Stockings by Faye Kennington. And you have like 10 different options to make it in and you can change a bunch of different things. I don't want to like show the pattern to give it away. It is a pattern on Ravelry. Um, it is a paid for pattern. I believe, I want to say it's like around $8, but I could be wrong. Um, but it wasn't bad. And so I had started making her the coffee one. So I'm not going to go into all the detail that I went to on the last video, if you want to kind of check that out, you can go back, go back and watch episode seven. I talk about that. And so I, we decided to go with the stocking that was made out of Knit Pick Swish. 
And so I'm still not crazy about this, the size of it, but she loves it. So this is the stocking. It has the cute coffee cups, teacups with the hearts. And is my lighting getting bad? I don't know if sitting in front of this window would make it worse, but this is how far I've gotten. I did the heel last night and then I just started knitting on the leg. So I'm trying to get that finished. Um, I'll have it finished within the next couple days. Um, maybe even by tomorrow. Um, this kind of depends on how much time I spend on this and not on other things. <laughs> but that is the only thing I have for works in progress right now. Um, the dogs are going to start going at it again like they normally do when I start recording. <laughs> They're fighting over a toy. Hey, Maverick. Maverick, hey. You need to be good. I've got to take him in the morning to go get groomed he needs a haircut he needs to get clean but yeah yeah you're a sweet boy yes you are you're a sweet boy yeah you're gonna be nice to Belle huh you're gonna be nice so yes you will see on vlogmas that I gotta take him to get groomed tomorrow so yeah and it's early my day off and I gotta get up early but I'll be up early anyways um I'm not good at sleeping in so hopefully they will stop making their noise but um one I, no I don't think I talked I can't remember if I talked about it but I want to knit up and I don't know if I'm going to start this in December or wait till January, but I want to knit the Rose Cardigan by Andrea Mowry. It's been out for some time, um, but I think it be, would be really cute to wear for work because um, it's always cold there. So I, let me take this out of the bag. So I knit up some teal on a fingering because it's um I believe it's a, it's a sport weight that she has the pattern in so I figured I dyed up some surrey and a fingering weight in teal and so um I am going to hold those together and knit it with that so you'll be able to see that coming up here shortly as a works in progress um, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to do it this month or next, but, or December or January. Um, so that, yes. So I did mention, and if you saw my temperature blanket video, if not, um, I'll go ahead and kind of briefly get into that. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and check out that it is. I want to do a knit along starting January 1st of 2024 on a temperature blanket. So I did list, I have a video that I posted last week with 12 patterns that I have come up with. There is tons out there. So if you would like to join in and cast on January 1st with those temperature blankets, um, we can do that. Um, I think it's going to be super fun. I have watched several people do it this last year and I just love it. I love the colors that it makes, um, the different patterns it comes up with. And so I went ahead and I made a, my temperature range for the blanket. So I will show you if this is, I named it temperature blanket 2024. So these are the temperature ranges that I came up with. And I believe, I wanna see it was 19, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 18, 19, nope, 20. 20, so 20 different colors. And I thought I had said in my video that I was going to hopefully this week be able to let you know what colors. But 
I want to dye up some more colors in different ranges. Um, so I'm going to work on that the next couple weeks. So if you watch my Vlogmas, um, you will see a little bit more into the colors that I'm going to be dyeing up, the colors. I'll probably talk about the colors I'm using. I'm going to, though, try to record a whole separate video um, maybe in the next couple of weeks. It kind of depends on when I got all my colors together. But I will definitely do a, I don't know what I want to call it. Um, not a precast on or anything like that, but um, maybe, I don't know. I'll talk, uh, I'll probably call it something in the thing, in the, something like temperature blanket 2024. Let's get ready to cast on and I will have this chart. I'm going to laminate it and um, make some, Hole punches so I can put the colors on here and so I will tell you more soon on my plan for that um, I really do apologize for not having it yet I looked at all my colors that I have and I kind of want to make some other colors too um, to kind of see what colors I, I want to I want to put in there <laughs> But, um, so yeah, so we will talk about more about that hopefully in the next couple weeks. Um, but definitely if I am working on preparing it, you will see it in my vlog messes. So check those out. Um, but yeah, so that's all I have for that. I have my boxes of advents. So I got, let's see, the bottom one is from Chelsea Yarns. You can see by the cute little tape. I got, this one is from a homespun house in Germany. This one is mine that I came out with, Brazos Fiberworks. And then I have, this is part of Chelsea Yarns. She sent that full stain separate. And then, this one is my freckled whimsy and it is the self striping that you knit a color each day and then for christmas you'll have a full pair of socks so um i need to open these up get these ready for vlogmas that starts tomorrow advent season but I kind of wanted to show you what I was thinking for my Chelsea Yarns and Homespun House Advent. So let me grab my project bags. I'm going to take a drink of coffee real quick. All right. So I did mention in my last video that when I open my homespun house advents this year, I want to go ahead and add them to my homespun house Patreon blanket. So I am a part of homespun house's Patreon. And so every month she sends three 10 gram minis for the level that I am in. And this is my like granny square blanket that I have done with all of my Patreon minis. I think there is maybe a few other minis from her shop that are in there that aren't Patreon. But I am going to add to this blanket every Advent day. So it only takes, these are only 10 grams and it uses most of the 10 grams. So I am going to add some of the minis on here and then whatever I have left over, I am either going to, and I think I'm gonna wait till I start opening them to decide, but I am either going to add them to my coziest memory blanket, or I am going to start a jelly roll blanket because I really want a jelly roll blanket with advents, but yet I still want to 
add the colors into this one. So I think I might do that. So that is the plan anyways. And this is in my homespun house and knitting unicorns bag. And then my Chelsea yarn advent. So last Valentine's, I got her Valentine's at, not advent, Valentine's box with the minis and all the goodies. And so I started knitting a blanket. And the blanket is by Molly of a homespun house. Let's see if I have a picture I can show you. It is her cozy comfort throw. And you hold its fingering weight, you hold double with a um, with a full skein. And so I just chose to do natural with the full skein and then these are I believe it was 12 or 13 colors I had I can't remember let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten oh, maybe 12 12 minis these are all from the valentine I love this blanket it is so cute I like the feel of it it's squishy and so I am gonna add all of my Chelsea yarn minis to this. And by the time I get done with those, this blanket will be done. Um, and so I'm so excited because I'll have a blanket done for Christmas. Um, I did get her Halloween mini set. Um, I did not add that in here. Um, I'm gonna wait until I do all of my advents in this blanket, and then if I feel like those colors will fit in with this, I will go ahead and add them to that. If not, I will do a whole separate project with that. So um, that is the plans for Chelsea Yarns, and this is just in a spinning. Here's what I found with my Brazos Fiberworks advent. Oh, it's dark. I've been starting tomorrow and I'm totally torn. Um, there's so many that I really want to do, but I did. So when I made, started making the advents, I originally was going to offer it in a fingering weight and a DK weight. And then after I started dying, I was just like, Oh, maybe I'm just going to offer it in fingering. I'm not going to do DK. So but I think I had dyed up like six or seven colors with DK. So I did start, so with those DK minis, I started knitting up the pattern by Laura Penrose. It's her new pattern. Let me get up the page with a picture on it. It is her Sweet Shop Blanket. And it's super cute so it like you use you you could use your scraps or advent mini and do half of the triangle and then you do the other half with just a solid color and I love the pattern because you can keep adding to it for however long so even like when you're done with it and like later on you decide oh I want it bigger and I want to add on to it the way it's designed is you can just keep adding to it or just leave it. It has a beautiful edging. And so I really wanted to do Advent with this one, but I also want to try the Anthropology Throw by Helen Stewart. So I don't know. I don't know if, cause I did start the DK minis with this one. And so I might just, Keep with that because I've collected some other minis. Like when we went to the DFW Fiber Fest, I got some minis. When we went to see my daughter in Missouri, we stopped by a couple uh, yarn stores and I got a couple mini skeins of DK weight there. And so I might just keep getting mini skeins or dye some up and add to this and let that be that. And maybe do the anthropology throw because that one would be different um from all the other ones because it's in that circular 
shape. Um, so I don't know. I have like one day to decide this. And I like really do I don't have just one day. I have like I don't have to start it tomorrow, but I want to know, like I want to decide that that's my thing. So in Vlogmas, you'll probably you'll definitely see what I decide to do. But that yeah. That is what is going on here today in the last day of November. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so it should be super fun and a lot of work, I feel like, um, for Vlogmas, but I am really excited and I know all of you out there have probably either advents or scraps and things like like go grab your scraps that you have left over from socks if you don't have an advent and like find a find an advent project or a project that you can knit along with everybody else out there who is kind of knitting on those types of projects during the month of December um and comment below what you're working on um that I believe that is all I have for you to Day. I don't think I'm leaving anything out. If you would like to buy me a cup of coffee and help support this channel, uh, I do have the link to my Ko-Fi down below. Uh, if you are ready for Vlogmas and you have not subscribed again, go ahead and hit that subscription and that notification bell so you know when I upload every day for Vlogmas. Of course, tomorrow will be the first day, so you won't see tomorrow's until the second and so forth. But yeah, um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and head over to Instagram and follow me at Brazos Fiberworks. If you would like to check out my hand dyed yarn, I do have some project bags, some small amounts of fiber in there at the moment. Uh, go over to BrazosFiberworks.com and check it out. I do have my Halloween. There's a couple colorways from Halloween that are on sale. So if you would like to go check those out and grab those before they're gone. And let's see what else. Um, I am JNB Crafty on Ravelry. I talked a little bit about all of that in my last episode. Um, so if you go on there and you don't see a bunch of projects, go watch them in the last episode and I'll explain how to explain why. But from going from here forward, you will see me adding my projects into there. And let's see, what else? I'm on Facebook at Brazos Fire, or not at, but Brazos Fiberworks. Go ahead and check out that page if you would like to. But yeah, I hope you guys all have a great last date of November. I hope you guys are all super excited for Vlogmas. I can't wait to start watching Vlogmases. That is like my one thing I love. I look forward to watching every day in December. But you guys have a great rest of your day. Happy knitting, happy making, happy whatever you like to do. Um, and I will see you in the next couple of days. Bye.